How's it going guys? Welcome back to my record tutorial series and today's video is gonna be relatively short which is about bullet spray. So in the previous video we have uh, created a uh, record pattern for our weapon but uh, right now the line traits are lined up too perfectly so we're gonna need to implement a bullet spread mechanic to kind of uh, offset those uh, line traits to make them a little bit more random so the way we're gonna do this is to offset the forward vector of our line trace we're gonna create a new function called um, spread trace and this function will take a, in a vector input and and the output will also be a vector so this will be right just chase and this will be the input trace all right and then the next thing you want to do is to uh, code this event uh, and make it a pure blueprint um, so the input choice will be the forward vector of our arrow sized socket and the spread choice will be plugged into this pin over here and that's the only thing you need to change for our on fire function so here you go oh sorry guys so I kinda make a mistake over here so we need to call the spread choice before we multiply the forward vector with the trade distance so I'm gonna make a little change over here. All right, I save. And in this stretch trace function, I'm gonna break the input trace. So the idea behind bullet spread is just we're gonna add a offset float to uh, each of our uh, axes in the vector over here. So I'm gonna call the uh, addition node of the float. All right. And I'm going to do this for all of our axes. Then I'm going to combine them into a vector. And the return value will be our spread trace output. So for these values over here, we're just going to call the uh, random float in range to kind of uh, randomize the uh, point. And I'm going to do this for all of our axes. Alright. And for the min and max, I'm going to promote them to a uh, new variable called uh, min spread. And max. Alright. I'm gonna plug in the min spread to all of these pin. The same goes for the mass spread. Apply save. The min spread, I'm gonna put a value of about negative 0.3 and the mass spread will be 0.3. But compile save. And now um, we're gonna test our bullet spread. So if I should, yep, you can see. Uh, this is uh, a bit overkill right now so I'm gonna decrease the mean spread and max spread value a little bit so about 0.1 I think I save yep and if we end outside should sure. you see uh, the spread is too much so uh, how can we control um, the spread while we end outside and not end outside? So if you guys watch my 2FPS tutorial series, uh, you will know uh, about this function over here. So basically uh, when the uh, character end outside, I'm gonna set the value of the end outside value to uh, between 0 and 1. Uh, so to uh, demonstrate, I'm gonna I'm gonna print the value of the end outside. Yep. So when I don't end outside, uh, the value of the 
end of site uh, variable will be uh, zero, but when I end of site, the value will be one. So I'm gonna use this uh, value to control uh, my uh, bullet spread. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna go to my spread trace function and I'm gonna multiply this with a float and also for the max trace, I mean max spread, sorry. Awesome. So uh, both of these value, I'm gonna multiply it with a flow uh, which came from the map range clamped. So if you hover your mouse uh, to this node, you can uh, see the definition of it. So we we'll return a value mapped from one range into another. So the value over here will be our inside value, which ranging from uh, zero to one. So for example, if I put in the range A to be 10 and the range B to be uh, 20 and when the end of sign value is uh, around uh, 0.5 uh, this node will return the value between 10 and 20 uh, which is uh, around 15 Alright, so when the end of sign value is 0 uh, which means uh, the player is not end of sign we will want to uh, spread our bullet, so I'm going to type in 1. And when the uh, MDAL sign value is 1, which means our player is currently MDAL sign, I want to minimal the spread uh, as much as possible. So I'm going to put in the value about 0.5. So there will be just a little bit of bullet spread when uh, our player is end of sight. So I'm going to compile and save. And if we test it, um, this is a bullet spread when the player is not end of sight. And this is when the player is end of sight. So if I test our required pattern, you can see that our line choices are not lined up perfectly anymore. So if you uh, want more spread, we just need to uh, change the average B uh, to be around 0.4 and let's see. Alright, so if you want even more spread, uh, we just can have the value of our 0.08. I think all right so that's all I got for you for this video uh, the next one will probably be about camera shake and anime notifies so I'll see you in the next one bye bye